Hey there, Gemini. This is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and this is your reading for, you know, from today till, uh, you know, whenever it stops kind of thing. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. You know what? My requests for uh, personal readings have just gone off the hook. So I have literally been forced to throw up a website where y'all can go to book appointments and um, pay with no hassles, no issues, no PayPal required, none of that stuff. It is TaurusStarTarot.com. So if you would like a reading similar to this, just for you, just for your situation, for 40 bucks, we can hook you up. Go to TaurusStarTarot.com, schedule, pay, and I will show up when the time is assigned, okay? What else? This is a general reading. I cannot stress that enough. I am having comments in my videos where people are offended. People are like, eh, that doesn't resonate. I'm going to give you a thumbs down. Blah, blah, blah. Don't do that. Don't do any of that. That's all dick moves. Don't do that. Um, to me or anybody else, it's just not right. If this, reson if this reading does not resonate with you, it's just not your reading. Maybe I'm just not your reader. Maybe you need to go check out some other readers on, on um, YouTube because uh, you, there's a lot of good ones out there. I follow some on my channel. Check them out. If this does resonate with you, that is awesome because that means I am doing my job and the source is speaking directly to you through these cards today. And that is an, a good thing. Make sure you watch your, your not only your sun sign, this is a reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anything Gemini in your chart, this reading could, could fit for you. Um, Cross-watch your other signs. Um, it will fill in the holes. Uh, the general readings, you know, they can be a little bit ambiguous at times. If you watch your other signs, um, you can get a lot more clarity. What else? Um, I think that's it, Gems. Let's get into it, okay? Doing things a little bit different today. Just, uh, you know, I get bored doing the traditional Celtic cross spreads and stuff like that. So um, this is what we're doing today. If you want to see how this reading came about, you can watch the beginning of either Pisces or Aries because I did all the shuffling and the flipping and the arranging and stuff on screen and it took forever. Ever. So I have decided not to do that for the remainder of my readings. But if you want to see how the reading is formulated, you can go there and look because that's how we did it. All right, let's go. So, and this is not a past, present, future. It just is what it is when it is, right? So we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is the king of our feels and emotions, right? This King of Cups has emotional balance and control. And I do believe this King of Cups character, Cups is water energy, Pisces, Scorp Scorpio, and Cancer, by the way, deals with our feels and our emotions in our, geez, I cannot talk, deals with our feels and emotions. And I do believe that this King of Cups has made you an offer of a, of a new beginning, right? The Ace of Wands is fire energy, Sag, Leo, and Aries. It deals with inspiration and spirit and the fire that burns in our chest, right? This King of Cups has made an offer to you to have an inspired, powerful new beginning. And it threw you into the Eight of Swords mentality. Swords is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and it deals with our thoughts, uh, implementing, formulating decisions, and communicating those decisions, right? The Eight of Swords specifically is about a self-imposed mental restriction, right? Or self-imposed mental imprisonment. So this offer of a passionate new beginning from this King of Cups character, um, you know, and it could be a water sign. It doesn't have to be a water sign though, right? It doesn't have to be. None of these cards, even though I'm going to talk about the signs that are affiliated with the cards, they could be anybody. Please don't ever get stuck on the signs, okay? So this, this offer of inspired new beginning from this King of Cups character has you all up in your mental really hard contemplating because this person is from your past, this is a past uh, relationship that you've had. You've known this person before. And in the past, this person has betrayed you. They have betrayed you. The eight of, so I'm sorry, the 10 of swords is all about being backstabbed, you know, experiencing defeat and crisis and betrayal, endings and loss. So this person in the past has betrayed you, but now they want an inspired new beginning with you. 
the page of wands, I'm sorry, page of wands, um, which is fire energy, Sag, Leo, and Aries. They want a new beginning with you. Sends you into contemplating right? The four of swords, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the four of swords is contemplation. So you are, you're thinking about this hard. You're thinking about this new journey. You're thinking about taking a new journey and having a new beginning with this King of Cups character, right? However, at this particular point in your life, and I think this was kind of unexpected, maybe it wasn't, I kind of feel that it was, because it throws you hard in your head, right? In your current energy right now in your life, Gemini, you are the queen of wands. You're, you're good, right? You're calm, cool, collected. You're in control of your kingdom. You are, um, maybe you're a boss lady. Maybe you're a boss man, but the queen of wands is, um, is, uh, you know, she's, she's, she's good. She's good. She's a natural born leader, right? She is the feminine version of the king, which is a natural born leader, an entrepreneur in control of her kingdom. Okay. Man, woman, doesn't matter, but it's the female energy that's presenting as the king of wands, right? So you are contemplating hardcore about having a new beginning and taking a new, new journey with this king of cups character from your past that has betrayed you in the past, right? But now they're back and they're saying, Jemmy, Jam, I want a new beginning with you, right? But you're good. You're good. So you're thinking you have choices. You have decisions to make about this. You really do. You have some decisions to make about this. The um, nine of wands talks about having courage, right? And, and a test of faith that was clarified by the nine of wands, courage and a test of faith. So you're thinking about the choices and the decisions that you have in front of you. However, this person has in the past with the seven of swords, this person has in the past betrayed you. There has been deception and they have been shady, right? They have been shady. This whole revelation here has you feeling burdened and stressed out, right? Burdened and stressed out because obviously there's something about this King of Cups character that has you given it a thought right? Giving it a thought because nowhere in here did you say, uh, no, I don't think so. You're thinking about it. You're contemplating it. So it could be a potential for you, right? But you're good right now. You're good. You're thinking about the choices. It's going to take courage for you to get over the betrayal and the deception from the past. It is a burden. It's a burden. You know, if you can get over this betrayal and deception from the past, that there is accomplishment at the end of the long and hard road that it's going to take to get there. But there is accomplishment. Universe comes in and says strength, strength, Gemini, pull on your strength, have courage, 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 have courage. Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords is air energy. She's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I personally attribute this card to Gemini specifically. Um, but the Queen of Swords is a no bullshit kind of lady, right? She's a quick thinker. She's perceptive. She's independent. She didn't get to be the Queen of Swords by, by being passive, right? She says what's on her mind and she doesn't take any bullshit and she doesn't give any bullshit. So that's you, Gemini. That's you telling this King of Cups character, I'm not down for any bullshit. I'm just not down for any bullshit. Your communications with this person puts you into the hangman energy. You're contemplating. I'm sure there was an exchange, right? And, and now you're contemplating. You're pausing, surrendering, thinking about this whole thing. And when you're done with this, you're going to come out on the other side with a new perspective. But in the hangman mode, you are seriously contemplating whether you want to move forward in this situation, right? You're seriously contemplating if you want to move forward. The hangman is water energy, by the way. The chariot is uh, cancer, cancer. So you're in hangman mode. You're very seriously thinking about um, 
moving forward with this whole situation, there you are with the Eight of Swords again, Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords, all caught up in your head, putting some serious mental energy into this particular situation. The World card is about completion, integration, accomplishment, and travel. Covered by the Ace of Wands, again, the second Ace of Wands. Covered by the Ace of Wands, which is an inspired, powerful, creative new beginning with somebody. So the World card represents you integrating all of your thoughts about this King of Cups character from the past who was deceptive, right? But he wants a new beginning. He wants a new beginning. You are contemplating this new beginning, taking this new journey with this King of Cups character. But you know what? In your life right now, you're good. You're, you're good. You are. You're good. And you're thinking about the choices and the decisions that you have to make. Like a boss, you're thinking about it. You are level-headed, calm, cool, and collected, right? Even though this is fire energy and she's a very passionate woman, you are contemplating your decisions not only out of passion, but out of intellect with this Queen of Swords back here as well. Contemplating your decisions, it's going to take you some courage to get over the betrayal and the deception from the past. It is a burden for you to drop these feelings of deception and betrayal. Strength is what it's going to take to, to, to formulate this decision, whether you want to go forward or not. There's your no bullshit attitude in your, in your head, thinking about moving forward, in your head hard, thinking about moving forward. The world card comes in and says that there is a completion and an integration of all of these processes that you have gone through to this point in the reading right here, right? There's a completion and, and, an, and an integration of your decision-making processes in regards to this new passionate beginning with this King of Cups character. King of Swords comes in and is clarified by the King of Swords, mind you. King of Swords is air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I'm sorry. Yeah, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Duh. Um, this King of Swords energy is, he's clear thinking, right? He's intellectual power and he's truth. I think some truth has been spoken to you or from you and truth is returned from you or to you. And whatever this truth is that is spoken between you leaves you feeling very excited. This Knight of Wands energy is um, energetic and passionate. He's lustful. He's full of action and adventure. And it's just a feeling of excited, right? Right? Feeling very excited about the exchange of communication that happened between the two of you. And that exchange of communication that left you feeling excited has resulted in the Three of Wands preparing, preparing to expand your world, preparing to expand your world, Wheel of Fortune, a turning point in your destiny. The Wheel of Fortune is good luck, karma, life cycles ending and new life cycles beginning destiny and a turning point. So this communication came in, truths were spoken to one another, and, and the result of that was excitement, right? You're, the excitement's creeping up in that king and that queen of wands right there, right? It's creeping up into your throat. You're excited, right? Now you're beginning to, to think about the future. You're beginning to think about the future and what it could be with this person what it could be. And if you get together, if you accept this offer, if you forgive the betrayal and the deception in the past, it's definitely going to be a turning point in your life, right? Old Diablo shows up right there. This devil energy. The devil is, is the card of um, Capricorn. 
And it's all about um, attachments, addictions, restrictions, sexuality, and your shadow self. Let's see. The devil with the four of pentacles and the three of pentacles. Four of pentacles is all about control, stability, and security. The three of pentacles is about teamwork and collaboration. So planning for your future, knowing that your life will change if you go forward with this. But there is restriction for you. There's restriction for you in regards to your security, in regards to coming together with this person and having teamwork and collaboration because there was so much pain in the past. This is your devil, right? It's the king of cups up here, but he's the devil for you down here. So yeah, this king of cups character who is presenting as the king of cups now is your devil. That's your devil. And you have, you have issues about the, the, the security that this person can offer you because of the betrayal and the deception in the past. You have issues about whether you can go forward with this um, teamwork and collaboration. You just, you just have issues with it. Gem, you just have issues with it, right? There it is again. I don't know if you guys can see this down here, so I'm just going to double them up up here. There it is again. Um, control and stability, right? Control and stability. You are so conflicted on the inside about going forward with this new passionate offer from this King of Cups who is in your shadow self, your devil, right? And the moon card proves it. The moon card comes in and says, you don't trust the situation. You just don't trust it. You don't want to make a bad decision and you don't trust it. The page of cups, that is an offer. That is a message of a new beginning of this is a message of feels, right? So I do believe this devil, the king of cups, comes back in and offers you Another message of loves, of loves, loves, another message of feels, right? A message of love, a message of feels. It's, 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 um, it's a reiteration because this was the big full cup up here, right? And you're contemplating, contemplating, thinking, thinking, thinking. He comes back in and reiterates that same message of wanting a new beginning with you. But this time he ups the ante just a little bit and he comes in and he, he, he makes, he makes a gesture of stability, right? The Knight of pentacles, it's earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think this is the only pentacle in this reading thus far. Anyway, this Knight of pentacles is, um, a, uh, steady and stable opportunity right? Steady and stable and secure, slow moving, steady and stable. So this King of Cups, who's your devil, comes in and reiterates his message of love. But this time he makes it a little bit more appealing with some security and some stability. He says, with the Three of Cups, he says, celebration, friendship, community. And I think this offer right here actually creates this card. That offer creates happiness in you. It's something that is celebratory, right? For you, Gemini. Moving forward in the relationship. The pain from the past is rectified. There is judgment applied to the situation. Judgment is just that. It's judgment. And it's also an absolution to the situation. It's a rebirth and an inner calling. So this King of Cups, who is also your devil, comes back to you 
reiterates his love, reiter well not reiterates, reiterates his love and, and adds, ups the ante and says, and whatever communication goes on here, it's represented as stable, steady, and secure. Makes you super happy. You want to go forward in this relationship now. <clears throat> the pain, the betrayal, the backstabbing from the past has been rectified. And there is an inner birth, an inner birth, an inner calling and a rebirth to the relationship. Love. Overwhelming emotion. Love. Knight of Cups. Your knight in shining armor, right? Romance, charm, your knight in shining armor. You're feeling good. You're feeling really good about the situation. There's public recognition. Maybe you tell the people in your life that you're back together with this person, that you're going forward into a new relationship with this person. This card stands for public recognition, victory, progress. Ouch, but there's that two of swords again, right? But this, this, not again, it, it, not again, scratch that. There's the two of swords. A lot of people will say this is indecision. Choices. But this card also stands for truce. This card also stands for truce. You have made a truce with yourself, with your past, with the damage that has occurred, and most importantly, with this King of Cups character from your past, right? Past, past. You've made a truce with your past. You have come through this situation with power and victory, breakthroughs and mental clarity. Whatever, whatever this conversation is right here that goes on, you come through calling a truce, making amends with your past, making amends with this person, and coming through with, with mental clarity and breakthroughs, right? Mental clarity and breakthroughs, because now you see this person as the king of pentacles. He was your king of cups or he was presenting himself as the King of Cups, but in your mind, he was your devil. Now you're thinking about him as the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is security, control, power, and abundance. This is husband material. He takes care of his family. He takes care of his kingdom. He takes care of everything in his life. He is the be all to end all. You can't ask for a better companion than the king of pentacles maybe the king of pentacles with a little water in his chart would be awesome right a little water in his chart maybe throw in a little air just for some straight up honesty and some good communication skills throw in a little wands you know a little passion in his heart but the core is the king of pentacles right? This is the card of, um, this is earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For me and my readings, this is the card of the Taurus man. Three of swords. <clears throat> what? I think this goes right back to the communication that you guys had. This king of pentacles in the past broke your heart. He did. He broke your heart. But now there's a new offer. There's a, there's a reconciliation, there's a truce, there's a coming to terms, there's judgment. The whole thing has been cured, right? There's a new offer on the table to go forward together. Not only to go forward together, but there is going to be swift change and swift action. This card is speed, action, movement, and swift change. It can also stand for air travel, but I don't see this in here unless maybe you're taking off on a honeymoon. <laughs> right, Jem? But there is swift action, swift change going to happen. You guys are going forward with this relationship full-blown ahead, full-blown ahead. And the result is the Ten of Cups. Harmony, marriage, happiness, and values alignment in your life. Maybe it is a honeymoon, 
right? Maybe y'all are going to fly someplace. I don't know. But it's a great reading, Gemini. That's a great reading. It's an awesome reading, except I've, I've, I've lost all of my, my place here. We'll just start that from the bottom. So let's go through a quick recap of this entire situation, okay? Let's go through a quick recap. Oh, are you kidding? Hold on. Okay. My phone just had a, a glitch. It says it and my battery's running low. So I am just going to run through this again super, super quick because my battery is running low, okay? All right. <coughs> okay. So King of Cups comes in, makes you an offer for an inspired new beginning throws you up in your head hard. This King of Cups is somebody uh, somebody from your past, right? Somebody from your past who um, broke your heart, who broke your heart. There was deception and betrayal, right? But he comes in again and he says, Gems, I want to start again. I want to try again. I want to try this. It sends you into deep, huge contemplation mode about a new journey and a new beginning. Um, but you're good right now, right? You're, you're contemplating because you're good. You don't need this. You're over it already. It may have taken some time, but you're over it. And now he's coming back saying, hey, let's start again. So you're, you're contemplating about the choices and the decisions that you need to make in regards to this situation. Courage, courage, courage to get over the betrayal and the deception from the past. It is hard for you to do because this man, this person, this King of Cups energy, okay, broke your heart. Strength is what you're going to need. Strength is what you're going to need. Queen of Swords, that's you. No bullshit. No bullshit. Inside your head, thinking very clearly and seriously about moving forward in this relationship. There's you in the hangman mode, up in your head, contemplating and thinking about all of this, right? World card comes in and says there's going to be an integration of the, the processes that you've gone through to get to this point so far in regards to this inspired new beginning that's been offered to you, right? There's the King of Swords. There is truth being spoken to and from. Truth being spoken to and from leaves you feeling really good about moving forward in this situation. Planning for your future. You know that this is going to completely and totally change your life. But you still are kind of stuck on the devil here, right? You're kind of stuck on, on, on what happened in the past. You don't know if this will be the security that you need in your life. You don't know if you guys can come together with teamwork and collaboration because there was so much pain before, right? There's your security and control issues. You are conflicted big time. You don't trust the situation. Page of Cups comes in and reiterates this offer right here and says, no, I'm serious, Gemini. I am so serious that now I'm upping the ante and putting an offer on the table of stability. Stability, something that you can count on, makes you so happy. Celebration, you're going to move forward in this. The pain from the past has judgment applied to it. You have worked it out. You have worked it out and you are filled with overwhelming emotions because this King of Cups who w was your devil is your knight in shining armor and you love this person, right? You love this person. You're going to go out. You're going to, you're going to, to publicly present this relationship because it's victory. There's progress. You have come to a truce with one another. You've come to a truce with, with your past. You have mental clarity in this situation. You see this King of Cups who was your devil now is your King of Pentacles. He is husband material, right? Mate material. Yeah, he broke your heart in the past, and it was really hard for you to even give it consideration, even just to even consider doing something like this. But there's, there's, there's the manifestation of a new beginning. You're going to move forward with swift change, swift, swift action, possibly air travel, and the result is the Ten of Cups, happiness right? 
happiness, marriage, harmony in your life for sure, values alignment. That's it. That is your reading, Gemini. I sure do hope it helped. I hope it gave you some clarity somehow, some way. If you need anything from me, hit me up at TorahStarTarot.com. Namaste, my friends.